Hello and welcome to another Camera Pro review. My name is Angus and today we're going to be looking at the new Sony ZV-E1, which is now the world's smallest and lightest full frame interchangeable lens camera. So I've done my best to break this review down into three parts. Part one will cover the design aspects of the camera. Part two will dive into the videography capabilities. And part three will be all about why you should buy this camera over other vlogging cameras that are available at the moment. So getting straight into the build of the camera, you've got a pretty small compact design, just like the other ZV series cameras from Sony. And as usual, you've got your dead cat that slides onto the hot shoe there for windshield protection. So you've just got Sony's standard flip out screen, nothing fancy like on the A7R5 yet. And Sony has now added a new menu, which you can access just through the touch screen. So you can change your settings on the go. So at the top here, you've got your audio input and your USB-C charging and live streaming port. And down the bottom, you've got your headphone jack and your HDMI port as well. So just like the rest of Sony's full frame cameras, you've got a single NPFZ 100 battery, which will power the camera at 4K60 for approximately one hour, depending on your conditions. You've also just got the single SD card slot. Then you just got your wide and telephoto zoom dial on the top there is right next to your on and off switch. And then you've got your customizable C1 button. And then on the front, you've just got your standard menu button, another customizable C2 button, the function button, and your standard Sony scroll wheel. And just under there, you've got your preview and bin button. And let's not forget the customizable dial as well. And then on top, you've got very quick access to your photo, video, and slow and quick settings, which is right up there next to your record button. Now, of course, this being a vlogging camera, it is very lightweight, feels great in the hand, even with bigger lenses on, I've noticed that it doesn't feel too imbalanced because it does have a very sturdy feel to it. The material is quite soft and slippery, but doesn't feel like you're gonna drop it. Now, another cool feature that I noticed is the tally light above the alpha symbol here. And that'll indicate to you and people surrounding you that you are indeed recording video. So now that I've gone over how compact and lightweight the build is, which we all expected from a vlogging camera, I want to dive into the videography capabilities of the camera, which I think a lot of people won't expect. So the first thing I think that separates the ZV-E1 from other vlogging cameras is in fact the full frame sensor. Now I understand that these days it's pretty tough to say whether or not a full frame sensor is better than a crop sensor. But in my opinion, there's three benefits to full frame. Those being better low light sensitivity, deeper depths of field, and better dynamic range. Now, to get into the nitty gritty of the filmmaking capabilities on this camera, which is where I think a lot of content creators and vloggers, and even filmmakers or videographers in general, are gonna find this camera quite appealing. So you've got 4K 60, no crop. You can now shoot an S-Log3, along with several of Sony's other picture profiles too. And you've got up to 15 stops of dynamic range. And if that isn't impressive enough, you've now got new AI technology, which is powering image stabilization and autofocus on this camera as well. So now that I've touched on the design of the camera, the video capabilities, and some of its other features, I really want to talk about the ZV-E1's AI processor and what that's going to offer. So the first thing I want to talk about is the clear image zoom, which has been used before, but it is a lossless digital zoom that can give you up to 1.5 times crop on 4K footage. So while this is useful in and of itself, you still have your autofocus tracking options fully active. Now the next feature I want to talk about is the AI auto framing. So what's impressive about the AI auto framing is that it automatically zooms in and zooms out on a still frame while tracking your head. Now this auto framing is also used in the steady shot dynamic active feature, which basically gives you unprecedented image stabilization without using a gimbal or other stabilizer. So another useful feature on this camera, especially for vloggers and content creators, is the automatic or manual audio direction. So you can set it to be frontal or rear. And the camera is also smart enough to recognize when there's a face in front of the camera and it will automatically switch to a frontal audio direction. Now in regard to autofocus, you now have all your recognition target features that the A7R5 introduced. So this camera can now recognize people, animals, vehicles, etc. Now, although this camera is quite advanced and it sounds like you might have to have a bit of camera knowledge to use it, you really don't. This camera will be set to the intelligent auto mode straight out of the box, which will basically do everything for you. 
but you do have control over your white balance, exposure and depth of field settings. And I'm sure the things I've just mentioned are only the tip of the iceberg for Sony's AI processor and I'm excited to see what else they can do in the future. So overall, I think the ZV-E1 is a great camera for new creators to grow into and I think Sony's done a perfect job of borrowing aspects from the A7R5, the A7S III, the FX3 and the previous ZV models to bring us this camera. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click the subscribe button on the Camera Pro channel for future videos and we'll see you next time.